Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the watchers, right? Now in this video, we will see about the dynamic styling. So how we can apply the dynamic styling through the inline styles. How we can apply, just like the angular, we have used the style, right? So in the Vue.js also, how we can apply the dynamic styling. So we will see in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to my channel, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front-end development courses. Now. In this video, let's see. Let I have created a new project here. Okay, new folder, and here I will try to create app.js and another file index.html. Okay, so these are the two files I am creating. So just new new scratch from scratch. Now what I can do? So here I can take the code index.html this code entire thing and I can paste it here. Okay, so what I will try to do is I will try to divide these two files horizontally. Okay, so divide these two files horizontally. Okay, now I have divided these two files horizontally. What I will try to do is I will try to remove these all the code from container onwards. Now from container onwards, I will remove all the code. So this one is the code from the scratch. Okay, divide is equal to app is there. Now here I will take the dot container. If you want, you can take dot container. Okay, what I will try to do write dot DAF influx. So I will try to create three boxes DAF influx and I can write something like uh, div class is equal to box. Okay, one box is there and another one, another box, another three boxes are there for us. Okay, so these boxes. So let's try to style these boxes. So style and dot box I can write and here I can give width. 100% okay height of about 150 pixel so i have given like this let's try to add the border also border 1 pixel solid as ccc okay so i have applied this border also so let's try to refresh so we are able to see the three borders here so if i try to minify this one yeah so now you will be able to see the three borders here now if i say if i if i try to do this one so if i try to uh, what i can say so here i can go uh, what i will try i i want this one horizontally so what i will try to do so i will try to keep flex safe and column these are all related to css so no need to worry so we got it horizontally or otherwise so in order to get more uh, visible so i will keep 000 so that it will be very easy to see i think you will be able to see nicely and i want to apply some ma margin so margin uh, 3 3 rem i will apply 3 rem okay margin top i will apply the margin top or otherwise margin rem so it will be very so we, what we can say is margin top we'll see okay mm, yeah so now margin top we are able to see right so three boxes are there which we could able to see the three boxes okay so these are the three boxes which we are able to see now what i want to do is so here Let's take these three boxes. Okay, let's try to create the Vue.js app. So here, what I can do? Constant app is equal to view dot create app. Okay, so here we will be having the object. Okay, configuration and also instead of we are writing app dot mount like this. Okay, we can write like this also app dot mount and I can do hash app. Now in this one, what I will try to do is data we will be having the data and i will be having the we need to return the properties and here what we can do is so here what we can do is the returning thing so i will add uh, three variables so false first one is box a selected is false and another one is box b selected is false and another one is box c selected is false so we have three variables box a box b box c defaultly selected as false now what I will try to do is I will try to add the one method. Okay, methods. So we'll be having methods and on box selected. So I will be having the box selected. So I will be getting the box selected box. I'll be getting. So here I can write if box is equal to is equal to a. If it is a means then make it this dot box selected box a selected is equal to true. Else, so just simple logic only. What I will be writing is simple logic only. So 
box is equal to is equal to b then i can write this dot i can go somewhat up yeah this dot box b selected is equal to true i will make it as true and here else so if nothing is there means what i can do so nothing is there means so this dot box c selected is equal to true okay so we have applied one box selected method so if any box is selected so we need to make it true and now here what i will try to write is so i will write the click action v hyphen bind of click okay sorry v hyphen on of click so we can write on box selected i will try to send the parameter as a okay now here instead of writing v hyphen on click and all those things we can just read right hand this uh, write the shorthand notation that is at the rate we can write like this at the rate or otherwise you can use vif and bind of colon like that also you can write this is a shorthand notation in the vue.js so i am writing this one shorthand notation and here also you can write at the rate click of b and here i can write at the rate click of c okay we have made this one so our box is selected so now when i refresh this one and if i try to select this so nothing happens so now what i want to do is my requirement is whenever we selected the box a it should turn into a uh, it, the background color should change okay the background color should change into red color okay box b is selected means blue color if box c is selected means green color like this it should change so how can i apply so then what we can do is so here ujs provides us with the inline dynamic styling there is nothing but what i can say is v hyphen bind of style okay so style thing so it takes an object so vue.js understands this object instead of writing v hyphen bind like this we can write the shorthand notation column style like this so it applies for both for uh, all the v hyphen bind of value v hyphen bind we have written all those things right so it will apply to all of them okay so previously we have applied right so it will apply for all of them so we can write column style like this shorthand notation now here i can write background color okay background color i want to apply the background color it is as it is an object it up it takes the key value pair background color colon here you can write that ternary operator so which value i need to get for example here i can write box a selected if box a is selected means then background color should be red or otherwise keep it as white okay so vue.js and able vue.js able to understand this logic so style it takes an object background color colon uh, background color key and the value should be the the it, it can be able to compile this code so box is selected if it is true means take it as red or otherwise take it as white only so i can simply copy the same thing and here i can write the same code like this okay so here it should be box b selected and here if you don't want to mention the colon so uh, single quotes if you don't want to mention the single quotes so hyphen in the place of hyphen I, we can write capital c here okay we can write like this also and now here i can change it to blue in the same scenario what i can do i can copy this one and i can write style here and here i need to write the c selected okay i can write like this also now if i try to refresh this one and if i try to check the output if i click here see it change it to red color if i click here it change it to blue color if i click here it change it to blue color sorry we need will change it to green okay if i click here change it to blue red color it change it to blue color and it change it to red green color see so this is how we can apply the dynamic styling through the inline style so we through the uh, variables we can apply the dynamic styles okay so this is how we can use this uh, logic inside the style uh, the inline style property to apply the styling in the vue.js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you